Hello and welcome to this e Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to look at printing estimates. Specifically, we're going to cover how to select the estimates we would like to print. We're going to check out the reports button that we haven't seen before. We're going to choose the actual port that we'd like to run. We're going to see how to turn on and off some printing options, as well as determine our output options. And finally, we'll clean up with the export completed window. So let's swing over to e 4 clicks and we're going to start from the Estimates tab of the Update Project window. Let's notice here that we're going to print estimates. Okay, We're not going to print line items. We're not going to print projects. We're going to print estimates. So we're going to, hide, we're going to tag the estimates that we would like to print and print those out. Okay, So we notice here we've got some four estimates here. Two of them we haven't touched yet. They don't have any line items or money involved with them. And we've got two estimates down here, which we've been using in our other previous videos, and we've got some line items and some dollars associated with them. All right? Now, we tag or check the estimates that we would like to print. All right, so we can come over here, and we can use our mouse and check that. Or, do you remember the hotkey on how to tag the highlighted estimate? We can hit the space bar and that will tag the estimate there for us. All right, so now we've got two estimates tagged, and these are the ones we want to print. Now, this time we're not going to right-click, which would be giving us the estimate activity menu options right there. We're actually going to use the button next to our program button. We're going to use the reports button. Under our reports button, we have several different options. We're going to look specifically at the print estimates option here. This will be our most common choice, but we'll use some of these other ones, and we can check them out later. But the print estimates will allow us to print out some estimates. We can notice that the hotkey is Control-R for our reports. What you can also do is your toolbar icon up here. See the little printer up there? Print estimates. We'll go click on that one. It brings up our estimate report options window. Okay? Now, before we get deep into here, there's no way I can show you all of this information, so I want to show you a reference that we have. All right? We've got a bunch of good references. I've got an e4 clicks here for you. So if we go up to Browse and to References, this will open up our References window, and we have lots of good information from RS Means as well as from e4 clicks. Specifically, we have the User's Manual. All right? The user's manual is for 800 pages of the most exciting reading you'll ever do, right? We can go through the entire program and figure it all out. Okay, so the E4Clicks user's manual is one of our references. I've already got it up and primed to it. the lotion that I want for here. But inside of the references section of the printing estimate report options chapter of our user's manual, we have a bunch of good information. The whole chapter is great and goes into more detail than I will, but I want to show you the reports here. So our left column is the estimate reports, and each one of these is a different report with different information and can show us based on our audience or who our what our need is, we can display our information in different ways. All right? For each of these estimate report out Estimate reports, we have different options, basically information that we can turn on and off inside of our reports. So as I move through our list of reports, we can see our options changing. Okay? So I'll jump back up to the top here, and I'm going to go back to the user's manual. we got two pages in our references here for the different reports, and it goes through each of the different reports and kind of the information and what it's used for. And... The next couple of pages goes through each one of those options. So it's going to turn on and off different information to display inside of the report. So we could see some of the different options here. All right. So we set you up with defaults, but then you can change these however you'd like. And the real nice thing about E4Clicks is it's going to remember how you last printed each of these different estimates per user. So each user that logs in, it will remember how they ran each of the different reports and what options they had on and off. So it's real nice. You remember your last one. Okay? Then what we've got, the column over here, is our output options. So we can print directly to a printer if we want to, and we can see a preview of that. Or we can go and go to Excel, or we could go to Adobe. 
Adobe is probably my favorite. Everybody can read it, but nobody can change it. If we go to Shell or Adobe, we're actually creating a file. You don't have to have Adobe Professional or anything. If we go to one of these two options here, we'll get two more tabs that show up. Our destination options, which basically tells E4 Clicks where to save the file that we're going to create. So we have some default project folders. Or we can go in and select any kind of destination. We can use the little folder over here on the right to go choose our desktop or any of the different files that we have, the different folders that we have on our system. We also have the file naming options window. This allows us to include information that we've already typed into E4 Clicks. Many of us name our estimate reports with the project number, the project description, any of these other different things. And we can include the date and the time, or we can include user text. So we could type in anything we wanted to for file name. All right? So those are some different options that we have for output. We also can choose to print these as an individual estimate or as a combined estimate. So right now we have two different estimates tagged. We can make those look separate. We'll have one cover page, and then we'll have each estimate broken out so we can see the details of each one. Or we could print a combined estimate so it would look like both of those estimates are actually inside of the one estimate. We can have user, te user text down here, and we can go and we can put in some different user information there or whatever. We could even change the user image with one of our options over here, and we could put on a specific user image that we want for this specific group if we would like. And there's some, like I said, there's other options that we'll get into um, in different videos and in the uh, user's manual. So when we click the OK button, this will run the report, save it, and do that. So let's go ahead and let's click the OK button. When we do that, it's going to create the file for us, and we're going to get the exported completed window. Here we've got several options. We can open the file, which will open the PDF that we created, which we'll do in a second. We could open the folder where we saved the file. We could copy it to the clipboard, which will put it in our Windows clipboard so we could uh, paste it somewhere or attach it to an email or whatever. And we can have a send by email button, which will actually open up an email message and automatically attach it for us. Several options. Let's go and open the file. When we open the file, what we get is a nice estimate report here. So we can see that it's in PDF. We can see different information about the report, about the project name, the contract, all that kind of information that we slapped on top of it. Um, we went through some of our other training videos really nicely here. And we can see we've got a division breakdown. We can see our totaling components. We can see MLE breakdown as well as a price-non-price -price ratio. So this specific report, report is really nice for our Saber Jock IDIQ type, where we report what's priced and what's non-priced, what's from the guide and what's not from the guide. All right, then we go into each line item, and we can see our takeoffs and our conversions. We can see different notes that we put on, and we can see our quantity, our unit cost, and our total. We can also see our book, and we can see here that this says RSM 12 FAC M, L, E, and B for bear, right? If we don't know what this is, we actually have a legend over in our user's manual, which is the next page, and we can go through the legend to see what our different um, abbreviations mean, okay? So that's pretty nice. We can see that it's priced, and we see a division subtotal throughout here, and we just walk through our different ones. And remember when we added a custom, how we told you we would track it differently? So we would know the difference between uh, an RS means line item to keep the integrity of RS means and how we could have a custom over here. So we can see we have a custom line item, and that's showing up in our alternates, anything that's altered from the book. And then we can get a subtotal. All right? So that's printing estimates. Hopefully that makes sense to you. We went through quite a few things there and gave you a nice reference that we can use. But hopefully that will help you out with printing estimates. Please see other training videos or give us a call if you need any help. Thanks and have a great day.